Um, last night, at about 1900 hours, we began to receive calls, 911 calls, in the southern part of Smith County. Those included tree lines down, um, we had power lines down, we had trees into, into houses. Uh, we ran quite a few calls in a short period of time and with quite a few reports that we at least had uh, significant wind damage and or to rotation, tornadic rotation. There was also reports of, uh, of uh, a pre-storm that occurred on the other side of the lake. And so we began to do search and recovery missions, looking for anybody that would be trapped in their houses, um, mostly hampered by the volume of trees that were down on the roadway. So we lost the, the, the sunlight very quickly last night in the dark hours and really hampered by power lines that were very hazardous to all the crews that were out. We had a lot of bystanders and citizens that were trying to clear roadways. We worked deep into the night, about, about three o'clock in the morning, um, and came back early this morning to continue the operation to um, mostly do damage assessment today. That damage assessment has continued through the afternoon um, and we've, we've been able to uh, search all of the properties and look through all of the southern part of the county uh, affected by the storm. No, no loss of life, no significant injuries, and no major um, home damages. Um, I say that in terms of structures that, are, that are, are totally destroyed or anything like that. We had some outbuildings that were destroyed, uh, but nothing that um, has displaced people long term from the damages to their homes. So that's the great news. Um, we continue at, at this moment to be ready to respond. Um, power companies are working to restore power within the region. We had about 3,500 customers that uh, for the power company to report were out of power. Um, we continue um, to respond and be ready for anything in, in this area. We continue to watch the weather going into the weekend. We're into a Memorial Day weekend and have significant weather um, on the forecast once again tonight going into the weekend. The marinas have significant damage to them. Um, boats that are, are probably planned for the weekend are, are, are tied up in marinas that have significant damage, power loss, and things of that nature. If anybody goes back on the water, we highly advise you to be very cautious, both from an electrocution hazard issue and debris in the water. So definitely take extreme caution with power lines at any of this area that has been disrupted. Uh, do not treat any of the power lines as if they might not be live because they're actively restoring power as we speak. That's really where we're at at this point. Continue to monitor the, the weather going into the weekend and, uh, and be ready to respond to the needs of our community. We, we are certainly appreciative of all the collaboration uh, between our county, or Smith County offices of emergency management and our county judge. And I'll turn the time over to Brandy Moore from the Office of Emergency Management. Thank you, Chief. Uh, currently members of Emergency Service District 2, Smith County Fire Marshal's Office, Smith County GIS, Smith County CERT, Smith County Co-Ed, and Crisis Response Ministries are activated to serve the uh, affected citizens of Smith County. There's currently a shelter open in partnership with the American Red Cross being managed by Smith County CERT, located at Bullard Southern Baptist Church. I would like to personally thank the churches in Bullard for stepping up and opening their doors for sheltering operations and all of the volunteers that have come forward to help their fellow citizens. I would also like to thank Brookshire's for providing additional resources to those in need and our first responders. From the companies to the nonprofit organizations to the volunteers offering their services, Smith County is continuing to be a whole community. I would also like to thank the University of Texas for aiding in our efforts uh, by providing a flyover of the affected area. We've partnered with the City of Bullard and will be opening a disaster recovery center on Monday, May 27th, located at Bullard City Hall. Uh, this service will be available from 10 to 2. Services will include assistance programs from the Red Cross and various assistance programs through other nonprofit organizations such as the United Way of Smith County. We are asking citizens uh, affected by the storm to visit the Smith County Facebook page and complete the TDM damage assessment information. This allows us to track damage and identify needs. All right. As Smith County judge, I'm always concerned uh, when any of the, any part of the county is struck by a storm like this. Uh, this just happens to be the area in which I live. 
Uh, and so I had neighbors that I was concerned about. Um, uh, thrilled to see that we didn't have any major uh, issues with health or any deaths and any, any real major uh, problems with homes. I know we have some damage uh, in the neighborhoods. Uh, we're concerned about that. They've already mentioned about TDM, how you get online on the Facebook page, Smith County Facebook page, you can register your problems there. I just want to uh, let everybody know what our road and bridge department actually did in Smith County. Uh, they actually had over 20 roads that were, that were uh, blocked by down trees. They got out and cut away those trees. At least one lane was open. Uh, and they'll get back to that, but we wanted to make sure traffic could get through for safety's sake. Um, I also want to thank uh, ESD2 and the collaboration between ESD, our fire marshal's office in Smith County, and also our uh, emergency management team. I uh, appreciate all the work that they've done getting together. One of the things also uh, that I want to mention is if you have debris, if you live on a county road and you have debris, you can push that debris out to the right of way. We cannot, our road and bridge crews cannot come on private property to pick that up. But if you push it to the right of way, we can, we can pick that up. I want to tell you that you must be patient with this. We just have so many crews and it may take us several days to get around. But hang in there, be patient, and we will, we will remove that debris for you. And thank you very much. Any questions? You have an estimate of how many people are displaced at this moment? Um, I think because of power outages, it's hard, hard to understand at the moment whether they're temporarily displaced because of lack of power or they're displaced because maybe the, the service loop to their house is damaged and or the roof's damaged um, and will require some repair for them to move back in or come back into the house. So, we had, like I said, we had about 3,500 that were uh, reported by on board as loss of power. And that's another thing I'd love to throw in there too. Thank you to the Encore crews. They got out here and got power going in a lot of the areas quickly and they continue to work. On my way over to this uh, press conference today, I saw crews out, they're hustling and we just, we certainly appreciate them. Preparing for another round of storms tonight possibly. How are crews preparing for that? Yeah, the amount of staff that we have on duty tonight, uh, we've got staff a little bit. Um, sure that, that we're, we're ahead of it and we're, we're on top of it and we're actively ready to respond to the needs of our communities. Y'all mentioned that, you know, nobody injured, nobody killed, obviously a great thing. Great. Can you, can you kind of describe again to us just, you know, maybe the areas that were hit the hardest and, you know, what exactly they looked like when y'all were rolling through there? So just a lot of, a lot of trees down um, on the roadway. We talked about that. A lot of trees down onto like large trees that were uprooted. Uh, which is evident of the force of the winds. You know, it really doesn't matter whether it's straight line or rotational winds, uh, uprooting large, large trees. We've been, had a very wet month ahead of that, and these trees uprooted in, in totality to come right onto people's homes in, in terms of breaking away the service loop of their, of their power. Uh, several of those, uh, a lot of outbuildings that were destroyed, um, but Fortunately, like I said, the, the minimal impacts to the total number of houses that will be able to soon be back in their homes. That's the great news. Do you have a guess of how many people are staying at the churches right now? Uh, currently, there's uh, less than five. Anything else you guys want to add?